Well, I needed a vacation really bad, so this isn't one of my normal build videos, but this is a recent vacation I took to the Gila National Forest. Day one was a long drive, and I'm showing you this rest stop that we found uh, just north of Deming, New Mexico, on the way to Silver City. We had an hour or two left to go. We were going to get to the campsite late at night, and all of us just said, that doesn't sound like a good idea. We passed this thing, got on the CB radio, and said, does anybody want to pull over? And we had three yeses. And it ended up being a great night. Uh, the temperature was great, and the food was great, and it was good to kick off the trip with a, a nice evening. And then the next morning, we just woke up to the, to the quietest sounds I'd, I'd heard in a long time. After a leisurely breakfast, we took our time heading out into the Gila National Forest. The Gila is a large expanse of open land, and our goal was to make a campsite along the East Fork of the Gila by the evening. But first, we need to stop and get a little bit of lunch. We just came down a really bumpy road and uh, just kind of getting everything set up. Cook a little, cook a little lunch. Yeah, we just stopped on the side of the road to eat. What are we having today? We're having cowboy patties. Got a little cheese, jalapeno, onion built into the burger. That's fabulous. Especially since I don't have to cook them. <laughs> but you know me, I like cooking. And fried potatoes with steak. So we hit the road again and later that afternoon we came across a beautiful river valley in the middle of the Gila National Forest. Unlike the mountains of Colorado and Utah, the southwest corner of New Mexico is very underutilized. You can go for days and not see anybody out in the forest. It's, it's really a special experience. Across this little East Fork of the Gila probably five or six times on our way to finding a good campsite, but we found one that was just gorgeous. Tell me what you got going there. So we got poblano pepper and Monterey Jack cheese and we're making cheese quesadilla tonight and oh, look at that. that smells awesome. Okay, it's been a little windy, but we put the awning up. You can see Larry's got his hoodie on because it was a little cold. And there's Maverick, got his swerve on. It ain't a little cold, it's getting right, chilly. The, oh, it's not even cold. Are the tortillas ready? They're getting there. Well, it was a little cool last night, but not bad. I mean, I woke up and had to put on a jacket, but it's because I don't usually wear pants. So I'm getting ready to cook breakfast over here. Alan got some jalapeno cured bacon, so I can't wait for that. But 
this kitchen setup is is awesome. Yeah, and after having numerous, you know, Coleman's and other stoves over the years, uh, he got a uh, cook partner, and this thing is awesome. It's all welded aluminum. It's stainless steel. Is it stainless steel? Welded stainless yeah. steel. The, uh, they're built for river guides, like up in Idaho and stuff, and they're just really rugged, so it'll probably be a lifetime stove. Now, Mike went exploring this morning. He wakes up earlier than we do, so yeah. he'll tell us what's down the creek. You back just in time, Chad. It's a trip report down the river. You don't want to know. Is it it's gorgeous. Nice? There's a 7-Eleven down there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, truthfully, when you go around this corner, there's another water crossing. You drop off into another uh, valley. It gets narrower. And all this green grass right here, Yeah. it's probably 200 yards on either side of it. Oh, it's, wow. a, it's a regular uh, coastal Bermuda, I believe it is. Wow. So, you need a cup of coffee? Yes. So. All right, now we're fixing to eat breakfast. And you know how cold it is out here this morning? 30 degrees. Was it really? Yeah, it's 30. It's 30? What the car says 30. Well, that's why, I, that's why I was a little chilly with no it, pants on. Oh. That's a pretty good breakfast. We broke camp due to a little bit of smoke from a uh, forest fire to the north. All right, we stopped at the overlook down into the Gila River. We're going to the cliff dwellings today. We still got Alan with us and his off-road trailer. We got Mike and his forerunner. And then we got me and my land cruiser. Uh-oh, Mike's taking a picture of himself. Mike's been traveling with us all week. Uh, he's got a forerunner, and you said it was a 2005. 2005. And he's got a great table on his tire carrier right here. Love that. But everybody thinks you need to spend a fortune to go overlanding, or I call it car camping. But huh. I cracked up when I saw this, and I thought it was the greatest idea. What do you sleep on, Mike? A doggy bed. So you got two doggy beds, and I think these are memory foam, and that works out great for you, right? Absolutely. So you just keep all your stuff in these plastic tubs right here. You got two doggy beds, you sleep in your car, and you've been traveling around the country for years you've been doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, you've been camping Before on Before it was cool. Yeah, you've been camping on the side of the road for... I've got kicked out of a lot of places, so I have to sleep in my car a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, he's got a really cool forerunner. Uh, he's got a uh, CBI bumper. He's got some nice tires on it. Uh, he's got more stickers than any of the rest of us have. He's got a ARB bumper and a winch, so he can pretty much go anywhere he wants to go. So, I thought his I thought his doggy bed idea was the coolest one of the trip. Crawfish etouffee for dinner because Alan's got an awesome kitchen. We're on the catwalk trail in the Gila National Forest and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty down in here. It's nice and cool and got a river running.
getting a little bit spoiled with all this solar and battery my brother's got. I'm sitting here watching a Keurig coffee maker making me coffee. Yeah, it's been a really nice week here out in the Gila National Forest. It's, uh, if you haven't been to this part of New Mexico, you really ought to check it out. There's just an abundance of camping opportunities just off of every road through the forest. There's just little pull-offs that you can go boondocking and it's just, it's quiet. The temperature's been perfect. It's uh, nice and chilly in the evening to sleep and sunny during the day. And you know, my brother's solar panels are over there making so much energy, he doesn't know what to do with it. We're, we're making coffee and he used an electric blanket last night and everything else. but. It's just nice to get away from town and to relax and you know that's that's why we build out these vans and suvs and everything else and it's just it's part of the fun but let me show you around this campsite that we found And just like that, it was time to head home. We found one last epic campsite at an overlook just south of Fort Stockton, Texas. And then it was a long slog home of another 800 miles. But it was an awesome trip. I can't wait to go back.